everyone's favorite YouTube engineer, Mark Rober, has launched his own subscription box for ages 8 to 12 plus, and they help your kid think like an engineer. Over the past three months, my boys have built a disc launcher, a trip wire, and a coin spinner. This subscription box was so popular that it actually sold out in the first week of going on sale. So I'm here to give you an in-depth review and my thoughts on the Crunch Labs subscription box so that you can decide if you need to put yourself on the wait list. Hi, I'm Stacy with Kids Learning for Life, and as soon as Mark Rober announced his new subscription box in one of his past videos, we just had to try it out. In the past, we have used some KiwiCo subscription boxes, and we've liked those, and through my job, I work with other homeschool families, and I have seen lots of other subscription boxes being used by kids. I have always liked the idea of subscription boxes because it comes with everything you need in the kit. It's educational, it's hands-on, and but there's always been a few cons that have deterred me from utilizing these types of boxes more, and I'll get into some of those cons in a bit. There are some key features that Crunch Lab boxes have that made my husband and I decide to go ahead and try out the one-year subscription, but before I hop into all the pros and cons, let's talk about what you get from a Crunch Lab subscription box. When you order a Crunch Labs box, you're going to get one box per month with all of the materials you need to build the project. They do supply some extra materials for the little tinier pieces, and I'll give you a pro tip about those in a bit. They also give you a visual instruction booklet that gives you all of the steps you need to complete the project. This booklet also includes play ideas to keep the fun going, a recap on the engineering concept learned, and encouragement to help your kids create new ways to use the project. Each book also comes with a gear badge that your children will collect and add to their gear board, which you get the board in the first box, and by the end of the year they will have all of their gear badges with all of the different concepts that they learned. So, so far my kiddos have learned flywheel, um, momentum transfer and the ratchet system. So far, all of this is pretty typical of a subscription box, but here's where the Mark Rober Crunch Labs boxes really start to stand out. Every single box comes with a video lesson from Mark Rober. So if you're familiar with Mark Rober's videos, you're not gonna be disappointed with the quality and educational value of the videos that are included in each box. Each of these video lessons are about 10 to 20 minutes long, and they all start with a question of the day. So this gets your child thinking about what concept they're going to be learning about. Next, Mark Rover introduces the engineering principle for that month's box using demonstrations with everyday common household objects, as well as demonstrations from some of his most popular YouTube videos. After the lesson, he gives you a complete rundown on how to assemble your project. This is done quickly, and so you can either watch it and then go build it and use your visual instructions, or you can pause the video and kind of build it right along with him. Lastly, in typical Mark Rober fashion, he includes some ideas to create an engineering hustle. In a lot of Mark Rober's videos, he takes something that humans can do and then makes it a thousand times better using engineering. So with each project, you get a new engineering hustle challenge from Mark Rober. If all of that wasn't enough for one subscription box, each month, every single box has a chance to win a Willy Wonka style platinum ticket, where if you have that ticket, you are gonna be able to go to Mark Rover's top secret crunch labs and be able to explore around there and kind of spend a day with Mark Rover. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking by now, okay, so how much does this cost? The Crunch Labs kit is currently going for $29.95 per month or $24.95 per month if you do a yearly subscription. So that comes out to right around $300. If you are new to subscription boxes, you may not know if that's even a good deal or not, so I went ahead and found five other STEM-related subscription boxes and have put their prices right over here for you so that we can compare with the Crunch Labs. As you can see, the Crunch Lab boxes are competitively priced based on some other STEM boxes. Now, don't forget, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. One thing that most of these boxes focus on is more the science and the technology aspect, but Crunch Labs really focuses on the engineering. Not to say that any of these kits don't also include some little form of engineering, but Crunch Labs that is the entire focus. Now that you know what you get and the cost behind it, it's up to you to decide if this is going to be worth it for your family. 
Keep in mind this box is geared towards ages 8 to 12 plus and my three kiddos are 6, 8, and 9. My 6 year old had just as much fun with these boxes as my 8 and 9 year old. The only caveat is because he was a little bit younger there were a few of the adjustments and few of the mechanical things that he did need help putting together but for the most part he was able to do the projects. So as long as you plan on being there when your child is going to be doing the activity, which who wouldn't, I totally had fun watching these videos and helping my son build these kits as well, then I don't think you're going to have an issue with having younger kiddos also use these boxes. When our subscription boxes came and we were ready to watch the videos, we went into our living room and I was able to airplay all of the Mark Rober videos onto our TV, that way we could all watch together on a larger screen. My kids really enjoyed the way that Mark Rober made the lesson fun, and I enjoyed that it was educational and that he was using actual engineering terms and wasn't trying to water it down too much. I also really appreciated the video instructions. The instruction guide is awesome, but being able to watch Mark Rober put it together really fast was really helpful for us to kind of see what to expect and then sit back and kind of do it ourselves. I also wanted to point out that a lot of the smaller materials needed, such as O-rings or screws or nuts, they did provide extras of those, which was really helpful. And a pro tip, go ahead and keep any extra pieces in a little bag because a lot, I mean so far, all of the pieces, there are bigger pieces to a kit but all of the little rubber bands and o-rings and those sorts of things are the same from kit to kit. So if you save any extra pieces, it'll help you if you do need something extra in a future kit, you do have it. This did come in handy for one of these little clear o-rings. Um, they're very tiny and so when you go to stretch them, they can actually fling across the room and because they're clear, they hid <laughs> very well in our um, tan carpet. So. My son would be trying to get it on and you slip it over one side and then pull. And when he pulled, he actually slipped and it would shoot off one way. So my youngest kind of went through a few of these. So luckily it was not in our first kit, but we had extras. And so we had, he had to come to this bag and get some more. And that was super helpful. Once the build was done, the boys would take their creations and start using them around the house. And we even referred to some of the activities in the back of the instruction booklet to kind of keep that learning going. One of my favorite parts about Mark Rober's lessons for my kids was the fact that he introduces failure as a good thing. This is one thing that I think all kids need to learn is that you're going to fail and you need to learn from that failure to create something even better. So at the end of each of the videos so far, he has shown all of the different prototypes for the actual project that they made. So it was nice to show that even Mark Rover had to go through a bunch of different things, which everybody does, before he came and settled upon the project that he wanted to send out to everyone else. Now, I did want to make sure that I mentioned some of the downsides to this subscription box. Now, this is actually true of all subscription boxes, is that usually you're creating something, you're building something, and so that's going to leave a lot of random trinkets and things around your house. Yes, your kids are going to play with them, but will they play with them forever? Probably not. So it's going to get stuck on a shelf, or you have to decide when to throw it away, and it can become just a lot of extra clutter. The next downside is that the contraptions are not going to last forever. Now, I'm definitely not saying that these materials are cheap. I mean, at least for the cost that you're paying, they are good quality. You know, you're able to utilize them and use them over and over and over again, but they are going to break eventually if your kid, especially if your kid is really into that project. One of our favorite projects was the tripwire because my kids were just so excited to set up traps for my husband and I and Mark Rober even wanted them to try and get it on video so they were trying to record it and make it go off and they had a lot of trial and error and they really learned a lot but because this was the one that they were using the most it's also one of the first ones we had break. So again I don't think that the materials are crummy they're just not intended to last forever so kind of keep that in mind as you're getting the subscription box the last con is that right now if you wanted to order this you can't they're sold out until probably it looks like from their website around november so if after watching this video you think it's something your kids might be interested in or maybe a grandparent or aunt wants to buy your kiddo something for Christmas, these are great things to keep the fun coming all year long for a Christmas present. 
but you're definitely going to want to jump on the wait list so that you get notified when they get more of the crunch lab boxes back in stock overall i do think that this subscription box is worth the money for at least for our family we love the mark rober videos on his channel we it's a family affair when he has a new video come out we all sit down and we watch it together and it's really fun so this kind of just gives us an extra video to watch of his um, instead of having to wait for the one a month videos that he does on his regular channel. And on the homeschooling side, this means that I know my kiddos are getting some engineering in and it's something that I enjoy learning about, but I'm not an expert. So I need to look to people that know what they're doing and that have products for us to help us teach our kids that concept. And the best part is engineering skills. It doesn't matter if my kids want to be a photographer or a NASA engineer like Mark Rober, the engineering skills do help them in any career path they're going to choose. If you also love the Mark Rober YouTube channel, then you definitely want to check out some other favorites of ours, some other YouTube channels that I love watching with my kids right here. And if you want to take a look inside of the Crunch Labs lab for by Mark Rober, definitely check out his video here where he gives you a full walkthrough. It's lots of fun. See you next time and happy homeschooling.